nursing school, my grandfather told me, in this chapter of your life, you have to set your sail. Now at the time, I wasn't quite sure what those words meant, but in March of 2020, as I was sitting on the couch, breastfeeding my newborn son, in the presence of my new husband, my elderly mother, watching the number of COVID-19 deaths on the TV screen increase, I sat there struggling with stress, fear, and uncertainty, trying to make the decision do I stay here with my family and play it safe? Or do I return to the front line as a in the middle of a global pandemic? My father's words, set your sail, brought so much clarity in the midst of chaos that I was experiencing in my life. And he allowed me, his words allowed me to really hone in on my purpose and honor myself as a person, a new mother, but more importantly, my commitment to care and serve cancer patients. See, when I made that decision to return to the front line, things just started opening up for me. And I started tapping into abilities I did not even know I possessed. I started starting on a level, I can't even tell you today what I'm doing. And all I can tell you is that I am aligned. I'm not only serving cancer caregivers. I'm serving nurses. I'm serving healthcare providers. It's amazing what I'm doing. And I am just walking in my purpose. So, you know, I want to just let you know that chaos has a tendency to paralyze us, to keep us stuck to keep us stagnant. Chaos keeps us from the momentum towards our purpose. So how does it show up in your life? Chaos shows up for everyone, but chaos does cause stress. We all know that stress creates imbalance in our life and also contributes to mental and physical illnesses. But something else stress does, Stress suppresses our brilliance. And we can't walk in our purpose when we're stressed. So it's important that we're aware of the chaos in our lives and we work through. So I want you to think about the chaos in your life. And what would your life look like if you can get rid of chaos? What or who do you need in your life to help you get rid of chaos? If you can answer that question, I want you to think of one thing you can do today to help you move closer to getting rid of chaos in your life. It's important to work through the chaos because we want to align with our purpose. See, when we're aligned with our purpose, we have the ability, we have the ability to inspire, influence, and impact so many lives in this world. See, purpose is not about us. It's about how we leave our footprint in this world. It's how we show up to serve. Look at purpose as the conduit to legacy. When you aligned and walking in your purpose, you are creating legacy because you are touching lives. So my purpose in life is really to empower people, especially nurses and healthcare professionals, to manage their stress so they can show up and be their best, do their best, and give their best. And I use my purpose also as an anchor, as an anchor to help me reset, refocus, and restart when life happens. Because it's not easy. Life happens and people happen. But when you are aligned with your purpose, people can't misalign you. So use it as your anchor. That's so important to understand what your purpose is in life. So I ask you, what is your purpose? Let us know in the chat. And this is a huge but important question. This week, I spoke at a conference of over 150 people, and I want to say adults, right? 
And I asked the question, what is your purpose? Only five people raised their hand. Five people out of over 150 people really knew what their purpose was. And, you know, many times we don't spend time considering our purpose. We don't spend time thinking about our purpose. So I want you today to create intentional gaps in your schedule to give it some thought. Why are you here? What are you doing? What do you need to help you maximize what you're doing? And if you don't know what your purpose is, I want you to consider a couple of questions. Consider what are you good at? What is it that you love? What does the world need right now? The world is in need of many things. And the last question is what can you be paid for? I'm not talking about monetary payment. I'm talking about what lights you up. What lights you up to be the lighthouse, to illuminate the path for someone else? What is that thing? That is your purpose. And the reason I ask so many questions is because the answer lies within you. You just have to stay still, be silent, and listen. So I'm going to leave you with this. I want you to find your anchor, your purpose. I want you to be the lighthouse. I want you to set your sail and unleash your undeniable impact. Because we, the world, we're waiting on you. So I want to thank you so much for sharing your time and space with me and enjoy the rest of the conference. Oh, look, they're just keeping it coming. They're like, oh, y'all are not going to forget this day right here. Wow, wow, wow. Lillian said, what lights me up is that God chose me to help other women lift their ADHD voices and take back their black power. Uh, Minoka said, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Arnita is already throwing you fireballs. A uh, boss up fab says profound. Cordella said, wow, y'all go ahead, give love. And I don't know if I said give love and hand clap and snap snaps from Dr. Cherie, but I'm sure y'all heard that because y'all don't be listening to me. Y'all just do what y'all want to do anyway, right? But yes, and yes, that was phenomenal. Trey, what did you think? Welcome. Hey, I'm glad to be back. I had my son early. I was like, I got to get back to the conference. <laughs> but Wendy, I really have to say thank you for being front line. That's the first thing I got. And how we serve says a lot about the content of your character and actually walking in purpose. And one thing this whole conference that we've been talking about, Dr. Wendy, is not letting the fear stop us. So for you to set sail and go back into the nursing business in the middle of a pandemic that we are going through, I give you kudos. I I pray for you, and I am just really going to set sail and live in my purpose because it's a scary thing and a press past. People are, have fear. I have a different level of fear, but to press past that kind of fear, we all need to have courage. Absolutely, absolutely, Trudy. Yes, that was powerful. First of all, thank you so much for what you're doing. So thank you for your courage and education and I just wish you all the best in what you're doing right now that was such a powerful message when you're aligned and walking in your purpose you are creating legacy I want to create that legacy so I want to walk my purpose and when you're aligned with your purpose people can't misalign you like that so profound and thank you so much for that because I'm ready I am so ready to find my anchor and to set sail thank you so much for that powerful everybody in the chat is just loving it they're still throwing Balls. They're saying profound. They're saying wow. Uh, Jennifer said fire influence and impact. You have people really thinking deeper about what their purposes. Um, and so let's can we just take a moment to celebrate everyone who's currently on the front lines? Like they are, they are our hero heroes. Dr. Cherie Good, right before the speaker, she's also front lines. My brother is front lines. I'm sure there are a number of people who are front lines. We just take a moment, everybody, and just give love. Just say thank you. How about? Thank you if you're on the front line. Just type thank you in the chat over on Facebook Live. We're still here. We still see you. Thank you. Just type thank you. Anybody who is putting themselves in hard way 
to be able to take care of others. We thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was such a beautiful presentation.